All right, today we're going to go over Unit 4, Lesson 4.43. Uh, we're going to cover the gyro and accelerometer exercises. So first thing we want to do is we want to go through and we have to calibrate our sensors. So we'll click the little open button, scroll all the way down. It says libraries, over to Mind's Eye Drone. We're going to go to where it says calibrate sensors. We'll open that up. So what this program will do, we'll actually open up with the serial monitor and it will print out this message and it'll tell you how to calibrate the sensors. We're going to go up to tools, we're going to make sure that we have the correct board selected, the Arduino Genuino Mega or Mega 2560. Go back up to tools, go to port, make sure we select the port that has the Genuino Mega or Mega 2560. And we'll hit the upload button. We'll wait for the green bar to go across as it's uploading. Sometimes it takes a second or two. And then once it's done uploading, you'll see us say done uploading over here. We're going to go up and we're going to click on the serial monitor in the upper right hand corner. And once we open the serial monitor, it'll print out, it says, Hello, to calibrate your APM2, you will need to hold the device very steady on each axis. The progress indicator will show if the sensor is lined up with an axis. Just hold it on any axis long enough to get a good reading, and then move to the rest. So two now, yes, skip straight to streaming sensor data now. So click up here in the top bar, type in a Y, hit enter, and it's going to spit out a whole series of X positive, X negative, Y negative, Y positive, Z negative, Z positive. And so you can see where the Z just switched to OKs. That means it's got good enough readings sitting on the Z positive axis. So now we can tip it on its side and we'll get X negative. Wait till it says OK. Tip it on its other side. We'll get X positive to say OK. We'll go for the fourth side. Get the Y negative, the fifth side, get the Y positive, and then upside down, and we will get the Z negative. And now once it's done, you'll get the message saying the mag axis 0 is inverted, mag axis 1 is inverted, um, the raw shift scaling, the new accelerometer tuning values, shifting it x, y, and z by these values, scaling it by these values, new magnometer values. Important thing is we want, would you like to save these values, yes or no? So again, back up in here, hit the Y button, hit enter, and now what it does is it's going to stream up the raw values for your accelerometer and your magnometer. So what we're seeing here is x, y, and z. So z should be 1.0, it's 1 g's worth of gravity force pulling us down, and you can tip and as you tip, Z will go down, and in this case, Y goes up. If you tip the other way, Z will go down, and X will go up until you get to the side, and then one's back to zero, one's back to one. So you always have a maximum of one and a minimum of zero for one G force pulling you down. Um, and that'll be it for the calibration section for this video.